guess what? We can still go to the mall because it's going to yeah. be beautiful out there, right? It will be. <laughs> uh, the roads will certainly be dry. You might need a winter coat or a jacket tomorrow, but uh, I wanted to show you this. Check out the heavy snow today in New York State. This is near Albany. The area, of course, is under a winter storm warning. Albany is expecting somewhere maybe near a foot of snow there at the Capitol. Well, remember the last day of November? That was, of course, yesterday. 70 degrees in the afternoon, absolutely gorgeous after those morning thunderstorms. Well, welcome to December, the very next day, and the first day of December, 58 degrees. And that's with wall to wall sunshine that we got. But, you know, it is December. It's the second coldest month of the year, the second cloudiest month, and the third with the most snow. But snow, really, the last quarter inch snow or higher DFW, that was March 15th in 2015. In case you're counting, that was 1,723 days ago, or about four years and, and eight months. Time lapse, certainly no snow today in the first day of December, but we did get wall to wall sunshine, saw a few streaks of high clouds, and then we ended the day. The official numbers today 42 the low, 58 was the high. And get ready for a chilly overnight hours. It's going to be the coldest night we've had in a while. We're going to have these temperatures dropping easily into the mid 30s. And the outlying areas will get colder than that, I suspect. But uh, those feel like temperatures. It won't be as breezy as it was this morning, but we will have enough wind to have those feel like temperatures in the 20s or near freezing for the kids as they get back to school after the holiday. You can see there's nothing headed our way. There's hardly any cloud cover to talk about for the next couple days. We'll run future sky forecast till tomorrow afternoon, and we don't see much in clouds. In fact, we just see another December day will be in the mid 50s. We'll warm up a little on Tuesday, 68 degrees. The dry weather will continue. Also into Wednesday, even though we'll have more cloud cover, we'll be into the mid-60s. If you're looking for rain after five days of rain, that ended yesterday, that streak. Now we have five days of dry weather to look forward to. This rain chance you see on Thursday will probably fall Thursday night into the early mornings of Friday, and there could be some thunderstorms in the mix. So there we are with the seven-day forecast. Again, kind of a cool start tomorrow morning. We'll be in the 30s Tuesday morning as well. But then moderate temperatures, we're even in the 70s on Thursday before the next front comes through, but next weekend looks moderate temperatures in the 60s. I'm